Let us solve this question in the figure given below. O is the center of the circle and TP is the tangent. So this is TP. TP is the tangent to the circle from an exterior point T. PPT is equal to 30. Prove that BA is to AT is to is to 1. So this is really very easy. I will explain the concept only. I will not write everything. You can write all the proof data and all that uh, easily if you have understood the concept perfectly. So let's work on concept. So here first thing that I will do that I will find this angle. How can I find this angle? So here, here, this is a right angle. Now you might think how do I know that this is right angle? I will explain these over here with the help of another circle. In any circle, if you make the diameter and then you make two chords, one chord has initial point is the end point of diameter. This is the end point of diameter and from that I made one chord and this is also the end point of diameter from these I will make one chord so that definitely forms the right angle that that's the rule you can see this is right angle even you can measure it by doing it in your notebook and you can arrange it in any way like you can make it like this this is also 90 you can see you can make it like this this is also 90 you can see so it's in any way it is 90 so here I concluded this is the rule this this is must be in your theory in your book if you have not understood it, I just visualized it how it works. So this is 90. Now this is 90. So this will be 60 because sum of all the angles of triangle is always 180. Right? So 90 plus 30, 120. 120 plus 60 is 180. Now let's come over here. So here I can say this is linear pair. Linear pair is a pair of angles that form 180. That has some 180. So here I have something like this. I have just zoomed it. So this is 60, so this must be 120. So here I have 120. To find this angle, to find this angle, you must know the alternate segment theorem. So I will explain alternate segment theorem in easiest language, simplest language, I would say. So here I will make this again. So this is my chord. This is my tangent. So here you can see this chord, this chord has divided circle in two parts. This is major segment and this is minor segment. So this green part is minor segment and this white part is major segment. Now here let me make one angle. That, that angle is made up of two things. This, this, they start from here from the tangent and here, right? So this angle is formed, you can see. And this angle is equal to angle of alternate segment now how can i find that uh, angle of alternate segment let me let me tell it to you i need to make complete triangle by using these end points this end point and i will make one line from this and one line from these end point so here this angle formed is equal to this one this is alternate segment i think i explained as clear as I can here this angle and this angle and this angle is formed by this angle is formed by end point of this you can see end point of this this cannot be considered and this cannot be considered because these two angles are on this chord and alternate segment this is over here the angle formed by making lines through end points of this chord so here this 30 and this is also 30 and sum of all the angles of triangle is always 180 so in triangle PAT this is also 30, isn't it? Now we are almost towards the end. So let us take this triangle PAB. Let us take triangle PAB and let us take sine 30, sine 30. So sine 30 is perpendicular upon hypotenuse. So perpendicular is this one, this one, isn't it? Perpendicular is this one. You can also say opposite. So that is AP, AP and hypotenuse is AB. So here in this triangle, you can see this is 30, this is 30. It means AP is equals to 80. So here these two angles are equal. This angle and this angle both are 30. So I can say, I can say AP is equals to 80. How I concluded this? Sides opposite to congruent angles are congruent. So these two angles are congruent, equal and sides opposite to them. So opposite to this is AP. You need to consider this triangle only, PAT. So PA and AT are equal sides. So here value of sine 30 is 1 upon 2 is equals to instead of AP, I will write AT because I concluded it upon AB. Here I want to prove this. So what I will do, I will 
take this a b or b a in the numerator because my proof is like that so b a upon i will write in this order and this is 80 i will take here 80 and i will take this two here and one in the denominator and this is you can see proved but most important concept according to me in this is uh, to understand alternate segment if you have understood the alternate segment then uh, you can understand this very very easily i hope you find it useful thank you